you know, it's always the same drawdown with going live. You just not quite sure when it starts and here we are back again. It's um, say inspiration time. We're in the final stretch of the dirty sales tricks. Just that and one episode left. And then it's also the wrap up of we've done with the dirty sales tricks. So it's not, of course, even if we then end this series, it's not that we kind of accomplished every dirty sales trick in the book. That will take too long. But the baseline and the outline and the biggest kind of dirty sales tricks, the most used, um, and also the most hurtful for your clients and for yourself, we will cover, have covered them then by now. And then we're gonna start with something new also on the English speaking side. So keep yourself posted and join in on our Thursday evening with another round of, depending on time, so knows it's probably early morning, wherever you are on our dirty sales tricks. So today we're gonna look at, at one of, um, I would say very popular and also kind of not only a dirty sales trick, but also bad advice. It's about fake it till you make it. Many of us heard that sentence, many of us use that sentence, me too. Um, but how is it, first of all, a dirty sales trick? Second, when is it bad advice? And thirdly, in which kind of way can you use it and which way you could, shouldn't use it? So um, let's go back to fake it till you make it. Okay, fake it till you make it is kind of like a thing. It's a thing. Everyone tells you, it's just like, you know, dress for the job you want to have not the job you have, standard advice for many years. But also you have to kind of like fake it till you are there. And in itself from a psychology, psychotic standpoint, it's partially true that you to a certain degree can trick your own brain into figuring out a way to accomplish something because our brain isn't very good. So now a little backstory why it works in some cases. Our brain isn't the best at figuring out time. So um, we can manipulate our own, um, not only our own emotions, but also our own memories and stuff like that. And our brain isn't very good at timing, um, especially now in these crazy times. I'm like, I'm good at my job, but don't ask me what kind of day of the week it is. Literally, I sometimes just don't know. Um, and our brain is not really, the concept of time is very complex and very abstract. And, and that weird thing which runs linear and also is cyclic and so our brain is just freaking bad at figuring out time so what our brain normally does it's kind of like it's it's in a constant kind of measurement it's measuring the distance from where we are and where the brain thinks it should be where we should be our brain is status quo driven and if we're in a good status quo our brain doesn't have any kind of ideas of moving us forward so that's why it's so hard to change your behavior that's why it's so hard to stick into a, i don't know diet um, or any nutrition scheme it's kind of like that thing so it's not an easy feed to do so the important part to understand now is that if you trick your brain in something that if you play the mind game of we already have that, then your brain is doing a reality check, figuring out, no, we don't have that. We want to accomplish that, then our brain helps us. And that's kind of like the basic outline of fake it till you make it. Um, on more scientific terms, it was called you play around with your future self. So if you get hold of your future self, your brain wants to accomplish the future self faster and easier. And it's not your biggest enemy, but more like your best friend. So that's a psychology background on fake it till you make it the reality is it's not about fake it till you maybe make it it's about fake it till you become it and that's the real kind of behavioral change behind it but like always scientific stuff from weird universities it's not a thing that it's going to easily into like the self-help and sales book region of your local bookshop no, it will be simplified and it will be turned into something probably really awful. And with fake it till you make it, that happened a long time ago. It was always kind of like, 
that um, thing also con artists always did. Just fake it. Nobody will figure it out. And yes, people are bad at figuring out con artists. So just fake it till you're there. And that's why fake it till you make it is something we see in so, so many stuff. It doesn't matter if it's um, kind of like the nice photo against uh, any kind of sport wagon um, or if it's like an even a virtual background which is much bigger loft style thing than you really have as an office which is probably just a spare room even if you don't have a spare room. So of course there is no judgment in it but people want to sometimes buy people from very successful people because they think that person is successful and they're going to make me successful. And that's where fake it till you make it really comes an awful, awful idea. Um, and you will see that in certain kind of like the parts of the world you see, and I don't mean regions, I mean like parts of branches, you see an extreme amount of fake it till you make it. The problem of course is that fake it till you make it is not a good business practice. Um, it can be also getting into that someone's knocking at your door, which um, probably is not your best friend and tells you that's illegal. Um, but also it's um, fake it till you make it. You should be very aware from a consumer's side. So of course fake it till you make it if you do it yourself as a company owner or as an entrepreneur. Morally, ethically, especially on that kind, okay, to be discussed, but why you should even be more aware from a consumer standpoint. Because if someone is pressing so much in that fake it and showing off flashy stuff, you always have to figure out if that's really the um, person you want to hire because which are their most focus on seems to be outside appearances. And the thing is, even that most of us have an aligned set of values, which we highly value, it's not always that our buying decisions represent these high values, because let's be honest, our brain likes fleshy things. The shiny new object syndrome, Seth Godin, legendary called it, but it's a way older concept. That's why people want to have a flashy wedding and forget that it's all about the marriage part happening afterwards. It's always the same thing. So fake it till you make it from a consumer standpoint is always be cautious about if someone, if it's, if it's too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Um, and everything in that freaking world outside is work involved. It's an effort you have to take and an effort you have to make. So fake it till you make it is a classical set of flashy status driven symbols. And also, which are always very irritated to be honest, and here we go, because we're on the side of feminist economy. Why in the freaking world do women now also play in that status-driven game? And why, someone please explain to me, why do women buy that kind of stuff? So there is that patriarchy, capitalistic, status-driven freaking world. And then women buy exactly that? I have an explanation for that. That's not a reason. Um, so my professional brain knows exactly what's happening there, but my my big heart is really suffering from that. I'm really like, girls, I'm women, really, and it doesn't matter the gender, really, that's your set of values is not aligned with it in any kind of play, but you get played, but here we go. So fake it till you make it is about status symbols. It's about showing flashy stuff. Doesn't matter if you paid by a credit you don't have, and if it even it's your own call, you just rented it at six. And you don't know, most people don't know the signs of that, it's fake. If you think about it, there are um, a hell lot of accounts like Ballbusters or Fake Watches account who don't do anything else than expose these con artists and these people. And yes, in my book, these are mostly con artists. Because if you do a good job, you probably drive a fancy car, but it's kind of not the most selling point of your work. It's kind of like a result of your work, but not the selling point of your work. You see the difference? You can drive, I think I drive also in a very nice car and I have a very beautiful office, but it's a result of the work. It's not that I'm telling you, if you work with me, you have the same, you probably hate my office. And you probably think I drive an awful car, who knows? Um, so it's a result of something. It's not a selling point. Um, 
And that's the important thing about fake it till you make it, why you should be very aware of it from a consumer standpoint. But also, if you use that, is the result of your work, the big, nice office, a cool car, um, a certain kind of lifestyle, the thing you sell your peeps out there? Or is the result of your work something else? And mostly even me being a business consultant, Sally, I don't sell a certain kind of lifestyle. Let's be honest. I have clients who want to have a cool um, work-life balance and others want to go for eight figures. Believe me, that's not mixing well. <laughs> you cannot work just three hours a day and have like eight figures. It's, it's just not true. Everyone's lying if they tell you anything else. So I'm not selling any kind of lifestyle. I'm selling a certain kind of solution to accomplish a certain goal, depending on what you want to reach. But, um, and that's where fake it till you make it is kind of like exposed in a very second and why you should probably really should not use it because you're probably not selling a certain kind of lifestyle. You're selling a professional service, a product, which does help the client. Why do you focus on the shiny thing? And especially in a world where people get more and more exposed about it, I would keep it away from it. But fake it till you make it is more than just a dirty sales trick. Fake it till you make it is also an extremely bad business advice. Because yes, there are many people out there, um, they call themselves mostly business coaches, not consultants, but also consultants. They will tell you that fake it till you make it is a good idea. And I don't mean only on the psychology level, but also on kind of like a more business standpoint. They tell you, you should flash and you should also kind of like, and we're coming to that, the money sale is next week's dirty sales track. Um, it's all about investing in yourself. And um, yes, and believe me, my clients, um, we're not cheap here. We're easy. We're easy chicks. We're not cheap chicks. <laughs> we know why. Um, but that's kind of like when people try to establish that it's a bad business advice. Because like the question I just asked you, do you sell a lifestyle or do you sell a certain, what is the result of your service on your product? It's probably not a lifestyle. Or, and if it's a lifestyle, is it really a flashy lifestyle or is work involved? And as soon as you're in that world, a dirty sales trick falls together in itself. Fake it till you make it is also a really bad advice because in reality, it puts pressure on people who pro shouldn't be not pressured. We're still in 2020. Who knows when you watch that video about 2020 is, and probably if you watch it later, was an extreme challenging year. We're on... Um, in the midst of a global pandemic. We're in the midst of human behavior, which goes against our own willies, which goes against our own behavior, which we see like that doesn't help us because we have to do a certain kind of like look at it as a society and so on. And fake it till you make it is a very egoistical driven advice. Just fake it till you're there. Nobody will, that's not thinking as a group or community or a tribe. It also makes to do you probably things you wouldn't normally do. Um, if you found that video or follow us, you know that kind of like a human center and a very like how to do entrepreneurship and all that economic stuff from a more ethical human centered way is a very important topic from us. And I also told you, I think it's very irritating that um, also woman buying into that very flashy, capitalistic driven, flashy lifestyle. And believe me, I love beautiful things. If you follow my Instagram account, like you see weird stuff I buy, just bought a hell out of lipsticks. But you always have to see that as more like, if I want to tell you that you have to have these lipsticks or is it just like me showing you that I'm a freaking maker bird and probably not buying any kind of anything, other stuff. So it's kind of like always that. And if you tell people, I would just fake it till you make it, you put a pressure on someone you sh probably should not put pressure on. Um, most consultants um, are not trained with deep dive in psychology. And even then I'm trained in it, I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not diagnostically working. So, and if you're in the coaching room, so we work even more deeper um, with your clients and you have now someone on the brink of a depression and tell them fake it till you make it, that's a disaster in the making. And that's why fake it till you make it is a bad advice. That's why you should always stay away and promote it. And especially, first of all, you should always ask, is it about make it or is it about like coming in? Because becoming is reachable. 
make it can be totable, unreachable. And yes, words matter. If you learn one thing from all the series of dirty sales tricks, then it's one thing. Your words to other people matter. And it's a big difference if you tell people fake it till you become it to establish a certain kind of future self or fake it till you make it and then it's a done deal because there is no process in it. There is an end goal and if you don't make it like that way, you're a failure. And that's why money of these dirty sales track for me, it's always like very hard because for me, it's that it's an awful viewpoint you have around your clients, your customers, because you, the only thing you think about your customers, they're dumb minions, not valuable people, which is an extremely skill set I just don't have. My clients have skill sets I just don't have. I don't, I, 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 yes, I consult on other consultants, but there were consultants before that. I don't rebuild consultants or stuff like that. Most people who start out with that and hope that I do that will be very irritated um, uh, that that's not going to happen. Our job here is make your excellence visible and buyable and make you money, not form you and build you into something else you are not. So if you're a great photographer, you will stay a great photographer. Why should I make you into something else? But fake it till you make it, it's exactly that. It's uh, many things about replicating a success someone else has and probably my success and be in you become, you make it if you make my second version of myself, which is totally dumb. So stay away from everything, fake it till you make it. The way that which works is fake it till you become it. And for second of all, don't fall trap into the fleshy things of like, yeah, we have, I have a pool too. And um, um, if you back to, you follow me on some, yeah, you will find a, my little whirlpool. <laughs> you probably now think you're big ass whirlpool. No, 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 it's the cheap, easy word. Probably I'm cheap, who knows, who knows? Um, but also um, don't use it. Um, there's a downside if you put so much pressure on um, your clients. And especially if you do your job in a field where you need a relationship, a good relationship, and if you put too much pressure on the sales side and where you build up the relationship, it will be unhappy clients. So fake it till you make it, not a good idea. There's a way to do it right if you work on it on the inside version. But on the outside version, just keep your hands, your feet, and everything else far, far away. But don't keep too far away from us. We see each other again next Thursday. And if you're on the German speaking crowd, we see each other again on next Tuesday. And um, in a 10 day rhythm, you can also watch Karen always giving her introduction into the actual time, what's changing is around us. Yes, it's in German, but um, I would have a look at it. And probably, probably, who knows if there will be some English speaking stuff coming up. Who knows? Okay. Have a good, great week. Stay healthy, please. Have a look at not only for yourself, but all the people around you. And otherwise, make good business decisions and have a great sales day. In that kind of way, see you soon. Bye-bye.